here at the Beesum in Guildford with Simon. Hi there. And Richard. Hello. And we have a briefing. What's so, going to go on today? Okay, welcome to the, um, the table briefing. Um, we've got about we've got eight or nine people coming this afternoon, and we've got various things to do with vans and with cars. We have this distributed warehousing system in Guildford, um, and our dry, this is our, one of our dry storage facilities. Just up here, here we go. So, other king size duvet coming down, yeah. are you ready? Whoa, there we go. Some pillows coming down there. Good, that's how we do that. So where's the van kept? It's kept in um, a, a car compound. You know, the current tenants are classic Jaguar specialists. Uh It's fun having be some here actually, you know, it's just a nice thing to, uh, to be involved with. I'll just show you the showroom thing. Okay. So we've got these three cars here for sale. 115,000. Yeah, actually just wow. reduced by 10,000 to 105 because the market's a bit slow. Um, and the current business has expanded so much that we, we're now, um, now in other locations which we're going to see shortly. We have a stable as well. So this is just over the road from where the uh, van is stored. So, so how have you come by this? Um, the, la the lady who owns the house um, in between jobs came and um, gave time to Beeson for about a year. Oh, Morris Minor. So this is one of our driest facilities so we keep sort of furnishings, mattresses and, uh, and chairs and things in here. Mm -hmm. In previous years we've, we've had to vacate the stables while lambing's going on to make room for the newborns. <laughs> we had the use of about four bits, bits off or complete four garages uh, around the area and we're going to just see one of those now. This is this one garage 107. It's right in the middle of one of the um, poorest housing estates in Surrey. And it's slightly damp so in here we keep uh, mainly keep wooden furniture. We'd like to keep, keep, um, keep it moving. All very organised. <laughs> it's alright until you want something at the back. We did a gardening project just here somewhere. What's the most challenging thing you find, Richard? I think it's really seeing the sort of conditions that people are, are living in. We've been here using this facility free of charge for yeah. 16 years. Just very enthusiastic about Beesum, and so they've allowed us to use meeting rooms here for free each week. And they've also given us this uh, garage that we can use um, as a Beesum warehouse, part of our distributed system. So this is a bag of... Is that, so, this? Okay. so we've just left lunch to have afternoon yeah. snacks. <laughs> it's a tough life. <laughs> a quick recap. We're taking a cooker to Hannah and then Norman taking some bedding and, some, and then Corbyn who we're fixing his, uh, his washing machine for. Let's pray and commit our afternoon to the Lord. Psalm 136. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good to him who alone does great wonders. His love endures forever, who by his understanding made the heavens. His love endures forever. Um, Jane cleaned this last week, so that's, that's ready to go. So this is some of your food store. Yeah, it's plenty of soup. So let's start with that. So you were saying at lunchtime that you were a little bit scared when you were going to come to Beesum. Oh, I was petrified actually. Why? I really was. I, I had this vision of me having um, on my shoulders this beds and cookers and, and me trying to push it up, you know, lots of stairwells. I didn't know what women did in Beeson, but there's so much to do. I often pray a lot. So a good prayer. Thank you, Ruth. <laughs> Whoever's house we're going to and just find out a little bit about them and and hopefully pray something that will be relevant for them that yeah. day. <laughs> Talks away! Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you guys been? It's ten years for me. Yeah. And two years for me. What impact has it had on your faith? Uh, has it challenged it? It's challenged the way that I can express it more. The, the underbelly of Guildford. That's been a total revelation uh, to see. Yeah. Absolutely. It's sort of environment that people have to survive in. It's, it's really opened my eyes to a uh, wider gap sometimes there is in, within Guildford. We're all from different churches. Working together, there is true...
Christian unity being lived out at, uh, in bees and in, in a very practical way. Yeah, we love it. We love each other. <laughs> and through that, we learn to show that love to others you know, who you meet. Um, do you see Beesma as just a, a very authentic expression of the Christian faith? It's what I've felt called to do. Anna. Yeah. Who are? Yes. Yeah, less yeah. secure as well. Yes. Thank you. Would you like us just to say a prayer? Yeah, no, that would be yeah. nice, definitely. Yeah. Heavenly Father, we pray for your blessing on Hannah. We pray especially that we ask this in your precious name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you so much.